Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima. They updated it to 1.3, I think, May 17th. So we're going to go ahead and check that out. There's a couple of things that they added back in Machinima, which I'm pretty excited about. And one of that is actually the Sun Study. Now, the Sun Study in the previous version, I really couldn't get to work, but I'm glad to say that I think it is back. So with that being said, to enable the Sun Study, go to Windows Extension and just type in Sun here. And I think... By default, it's off. So let's go ahead and turn that on. And if you go to environments right here and click on dynamic skies, if you're not there already, uh, you have a couple of options as far as what uh, sky you can use. So say for a clear sky, I'll just double click this and you're going to see that there's some light that's going to pop up now in our scene. I would say sun study is like an HGRI, but like an, a dynamic one, if I would say, because you can actually animate this here by just moving this uh, playtime right here. You're going to see that that light is now animating, which is super freaking cool. So just like that, we can actually find a good spot for our light. And I'll go ahead and turn on path tracing because you all know I love path tracing. And <laughs> it's pretty crazy. And, and by the way, this environment I already talked about, this is from Scans Factory that I purchased and I brought it into NVIDIA Omniverse in path tracing mode. And it looks fantastic. So I can actually scroll through this timeline from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And find a pretty good spot as far as where I want that light to be. Now, you can light it that way. And again, one of the coolest things about making movies here is that I don't have to wait for the sun to kind of like get in that sweet spot. You know, if you're a photographer or filmmaker, you know, you're always waiting for the sun outdoors. With NVIDIA Omniverse, I decide the lighting. And again, this is only resolving at 64 samples. But my goodness. And again, these assets are still game assets. These are not even like high poly assets and they, it, they just look so incredible. So I'll go move it up right there. If you want to manually adjust your latitude and longitude, you can do that if you want to by just adjusting this just like that and then 20 and then zero at whatever 157 looks really freaking good. And it just creates this nice, nice mood. And again, I've been wanting to make a video about the Sun Study because I think it was one of the coolest features that NVIDIA Omniverse and Create had. And I'm so glad that it's finally working here. Now, you can actually render this out like as a timeline if you want to. And I'll show you that real quick. Now, if I go to Windows, Rendering and Movie Capture, you're going to see that in the movie type, I have now two options. I have a sequence and I have now a Sun Study. And what this is going to do is actually render a 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And the moving length, you can adjust, you know, how long do you want that to take? Uh, it's going to be a one minute movie. Then it's going to go six to six in one minute, which is pretty cool. And again, on the rest of the rendering are pretty much the same. And if you want to go ahead and take a look at and see what that's going to look like. Well, this is 6 a.m. right now. And then it's basically going to render it out like a time lapse which is super freaking cool. You know, it's going to make a timeline time lapse like that from 6 to 6. But that's pretty much it. That is uh, another thing that I was really excited about in the NVIDIA Omniverse platform. And I'm so glad that it's working right now. It's pretty exciting times. But yeah, if you all have any questions, let me know. If you want to learn more about NVIDIA Omniverse, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel because I am making a lot of tutorials for Omni. Like always, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all later.